What is going on? This is Arius from Auto Fair Nissan here, and today we're going to take a look at this 2024 Nissan Murano Platinum. Let's check it out. On the front of the car here, you're going to see the V Motion grille. Down below that are going to be your parking sensors for your front, your LED fog lights, LED headlights, and LED daytime running lights. Under the hood, three and a half liter V6 CVT transmission, and all wheel drive. You're going to get your big dark chrome platinum wheels on here as well. Looks very nice on there. If we move up a little bit to the side view mirror, integrated turn signal, and one of your four cameras for your, your round view monitor. Let's back out a little bit here and get you a nice view. Good profile of the side. Awesome looking body lines here. You can really see the distinct, distinct shape right there in that body line in the sunlight. Looks really good. Let's come around the back here. You got your platinum badging, all wheel drive badging chrome bumper protector down there as well i'm going to pop this uh key trunk open right from the key fob it's all motorized there of course good trunk space back here this has the uh, privacy shade as well that pulls and stows in there slide that back out that way if you uh, have the trunk closed and stuff in there people can't see in and you can see from those seats they're not in the same position the one on the left is upright the one in the back there is going to be reclined you can see that that reclines pretty far back so it's really nice for your backseat passengers very comfortable but good trunk space few accessories to come with the car as well that are back here too let's close this back up we're going to hit the button up here this time and that's going to close down on by itself i'm going to pop the lock on this get this unlocked here for us we'll take a peek on the inside you can see you've got your diamond stitch quilted seats look really good very comfortable nice and padded as well and you're going to have heated back seats, USB ports back here. You get a Type-A and a Type-C and the vents down below. And you can see that recline angle. It's really, really reclined. Like, it goes very far back, so it's really comfortable. Uh, also, you're going to have the big panoramic moonroof up here. Give you plenty of open air for your second row passengers as well. Let's check out the front. Before we even get inside, just a few things to point out for you. You get this nice kind of multi-tone thing going on here. You get your wood grain panel on the side as well adds a little bit of style and taste to it gonna have your memory seat positions and then your automatic windows right over here on this panel down here you're gonna have your heated steering wheel that's kind of your primary thing on there and a couple of auxiliary functions as well and then down here of course you're gonna have your 10-way power seats uh, with your adjustable lumbar support right there on the very back and here we are from inside of the car give you this kind of driver's perspective here going to have a bunch of controls on your steering wheel you're going to have all your menus right in here volume controls there your source and then uh, some menu adjustments right there and then on this side here the buttons for your cruise control your distance pacing for your intelligent cruise control and you can use that to set and adjust your speed we're going to start it right up foot on the brake give that button a tap right there everything's going to move back into position to include the steering column which is motorized so you can see your little switch right there tilting and telescoping all electronically so that actually gets saved as part of your memory seat positions which is really cool um, these buttons right there that i mentioned are going to control that advanced drive assist display in the middle you can see carly has five miles on it 412 to empty so you can go through all your different menus and sub menus in here lots of good information for you um, this home screen here is going to give you your turn by turn navigation information and your digital speed and then if you have like music playing it'll show you what's playing uh, at the bottom there where right now it says audio off uh, you can see the spot up here where it's going to show you the speed limit if you uh if you're on the road now obviously right now we're just stopped so it hasn't seen any speed limits yet um ignore the little flashing that you're seeing that's just a camera effect we get a little closer that'll go away there we go that's just an led thing that happens uh but you've got your screen on here that's going to give you your navigation your apple carplay your android auto um your Sirius XM, you get all the goodies in there. Um, pretty much everything you might want. Let's make sure that's down so we don't have any issues with uh, with sound coming through here. But we pop that open. You're gonna have very uh, very standard Nissan style for your uh, for your touchscreen and controls in here. Um, so everything's nice and simple. You get a few actual buttons, actual knobs. So volume knob here, scroll knob here, uh, and then your buttons to go through to your different things, your menu, your map, your audio, uh, and your camera too for your round view monitor. Um, so you can see on here, that's your forward view and overhead view. If we press that button again, you get that's your passenger side front wheel. Uh, if we actually turn the steering wheel, you're going to see that tire kicking out in real time. 
Uh, so that's great if you're going to do curbside parallel parking. Uh, hit that camera button again, goes away. Now if we go into reverse, same kind of thing. It's going to give you your backup camera and your overhead, and you can use the camera button to cycle through your rear views. So nice and simple. Bring that down. you got your manual shift mode here, but it's all nice and uh, straightforward on that. Very, very easy. Um, dual zone climate control here. Driver and passenger each have their own. Uh, and then down here, you're going to have USB plug-ins, aux plug-in, 12-volt plug-in, extra storage space, cup holders, and then your heated and ventilated seats. So these knobs, basically, you're going to turn to the right for your heated seats, turn to the left for your cool. And then in the middle is off. So I don't know if you can really see in there, but if we like turn that all the way over, you can see the little orange light comes on. It's easier to see in person, but I can already feel the ventilated seats pushing air up through all the little pointed spots in the seat cushions, both in the back and the bottom. So that's really convenient for uh, for summertime now. And pop this open. We're going to have some extra storage space inside. Very cool. Very cool. Nice deep storage in there. And this armrest is nice because it gives you this kind of divide. Uh, but it's a wide armrest and it gives you plenty of uh, plenty of real estate on here for you and a passenger to each have your arms kind of situated. We move up a little bit. We're gonna have home link on our rear view mirror there. So you can get your garage door openers programmed in, sunglass holder, telematics button, light controls here, and then all your controls for your moon roof. So this one does the shade, this one does the glass. Nice and easy. Hopefully I covered everything you're hoping to see in this video. If there's anything I missed, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to get back to all the comments on YouTube. Uh, other than that, I'll also leave com uh, information in the description to get in contact with me directly uh, if you have any questions or want to schedule a time to see the car. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And we hope to see you soon.